Well, hello, everyone. Today is going to be a bit more of a, uh, be more of an errand running day. Uh, I say errand running. Uh, basically, I'm heading over to go see the girlfriend because, uh, she needs to take some things to the lab to get tested to see if, to confirm if she, in fact, does have mono. Um, she thinks she does. I'm not too sure, because uh, she claims, you know, uh, that she's contagious and that I could have gotten it and blah blah blah, but I haven't really had any issues in terms of mono and things like that. Um, I actually don't know if I've ever had it, to be honest. Hmm. That, in fact, is a good question, whether or not I've ever had it. Uh, looking back, I don't think I've ever had it. I, I know I've had strep throat. I know that. So I've had throat issues before, but never something like mono. I don't think I've ever even had tonsillitis, to be honest. I guess I'm lucky that way. But yeah, so we're taking, I'm taking her, or I'm gonna go with her, not really taking her, but I wanna go, or she wants me to go with her to take, uh, like, the swabs that they take of your throat to the lab because, you know, she, she gets kind of weirded out with these kinds of things. Like, uh, it's just, you know, she just gets worried. Even though I don't really think she has anything to worry about. But. So I'm gonna take her uh, to get to hand those in. I think she's also gonna take some blood tests. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the deal is with that, but you know. He, see, here's the funny thing. I've never had it that I've actually had to personally take the stuff that they test, like the swabs and the blood tests. I've never had to actually physically take those into the lab before. I've always had it that whenever I went to the clinic, they do it for me. So this is kind of a new experience. It's like, isn't that the doctor's job? I don't know. Maybe it's just the way that her clinic does it. I don't know. Maybe, I don't, there's got to be a reason, but I just don't know it. Anyway, so I'm just waiting for the bus. Um, I'm not sure if it already came or not. If it did, then it decided to come early, and that just confirmed, you know, the fact that I think that transit is stupid. Um... But if it didn't, then it's late. And again, that still confirms my, you know, my suspicion that transit is stupid. Uh, but if it is late, then Tammy is going to be quite upset with me because I'm already pretty late, and uh, the clinic closes at five, and I need to be there to go with her soon. And apparently, it like, um, it like gets super busy around the afternoon. So, you guys got some stuff here. And if I don't go with her today, I don't know when next I could go with her. I can't go with her tomorrow because by the time I get off school, it'll be too late. Unless I can, unless I just meet her there, in which case... No, but either way, like, I get off school at 4.30 tomorrow. And then to go all the way there, I would be there, I would be there by the time it closes, and then, so I wouldn't be able to be there for her. So, yeah. I don't know. I'm just really hoping that the bus is on time today. Ugh, or it's not even on time. It's already late right now. It's like five minutes late. Which is usually pretty common with this kind of thing, so... I don't know. So, we'll see. Let's hope everything works out. So today was a quiet day. It was... consisted of coming here to Tammy's, seeing her, seeing how she's doing. She's kind of bedridden at the moment. <laughs> so I'm just here keeping her company and doing some German homework that I need to have finished for tomorrow. And yeah, went to the gym today. Gym went really well. Glad I went. It, I always feel better after I come back from the gym. I think it's the, the endorphin rush that you get in the brain. You know, get all sciencey and everything. So it's going to be a quiet night just Keeping her company, making sure she doesn't get too bored. We were watching some shows online. Um, she refuses to watch the latest episode of Glee because of because it's called it's called the breakup, and you know we know what happens. But she just refuses to watch it because she doesn't want to get sad. So, but we're all, essentially we're all caught up except for that. Uh, we're caught up on pretty much every other show that we watch except for Ghost Adventures. Well, I've watched the sixth season. She hasn't, so she's behind by a season, which is crazy, because apparently the latest episode was crazy. Um, I don't know. I just, she needs to catch up. So She actually watches more shows than I do, which is crazy. Um, 
a lot more of those dramatic. She watches a lot more dramatic shows than I do. Uh, so yeah, we're we've started. We've added Arrow to our roster of shows that we watch together because uh, it's made. It's not made by the same guys who did Smallville, but it's with the same uh, the same network with the CW. And you know, I I did like Smallville, so I don't know. I kind of have mixed feelings about Arrow. Mind you, it was only the pilot episode, right? So, but we're adding that to our to the roster of shows that we like to watch together. So, it's it's our thing, you know. It's the thing that we do. We just watch, relax, hang out, watch shows together. So, but yeah, so it's been a quiet night. Uh, gonna finish my German, hopefully. <laughs> it's due tomorrow, because you know the teacher decided to email me today about how it's due tomorrow. You know, because that helps. Anyway, so I'm going to say goodnight, and I hope you all had a great day, a great week, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys.